Steve Cardi is a young man living in Nanaimo. At first glance, Steve looks like any other young man his age. But Steve has a disability. He is legally blind. I've been told that I'm a medical miracle of sorts, considering most people who have my visual impairments see considerably worse than I do. I was born with optic nerve hypoplasia. It means I was born missing rods and cones in my optic nerve. I can't wear, wear glasses because my retina is fine, and glasses usually correct problems with your retina. I can't get surgery either because of the same reason, because it only fixes problems with the retina since my retina is fine. I can't really explain how I see because I've felt like this my whole life. Basically everything just appears really far away. And like stuff's hard for me to read, I have to sit, I have to re sit really close to the TV or you know, look really close to read print, but I usually can. I have a little magnifying glass that I use. It's a little, it's almost like a little dome. It's a little uh, thing that you put on top of uh, such things as full books or smaller prints and it magnifies it by 10 or 15 times or so. It's very useful because I can read, so I normally can't read the phone book just with using my eyes. So I make, so I mix it so I can read phone books and I can read smaller print. Also, I have uh, I have a pair of glasses. They're kind of they're somewhat high tech. They're like, it's almost like a visor, and you put it, you wear it, and it has one camera, but it has split into two, so you can see it from each eye. And you can turn it on, and there's a little, there's a zoom button on it, so you can zoom. It's got an auto focus, and you can so you can once you get the focus you like on something, you can lock it at a certain focus, and then you can zoom in, zoom out. And you can change the contrast to make it high contrast black or black and white or just uh, normal, normal color. Alternate, and you can also plug it into a TV as well. <clears throat> or you can plug it into a computer monitor so what you see through that you see through the computer screen. A screen reader is a program on a computer that uh, basically speaks what's written on screens. <laughs> So if you were on on the internet viewing a web page, it would speak the links and the text on the page. Or if you're on an instant messaging program, if someone sends you a message instead of writing on the screen, well, it's still right on the screen, but then the JAWS would speak. It's called JAWS. It's called Job Access with Speech. Hi, my name is Remy Chartier. I'm uh, living personally with Steve, who you uh, who you met earlier. Um, I also have optic nerve hypoplasia, though mine is a bit higher in quality than, than Steve's is in the sense that I can't see quite as much. Um, I'm one of seven. I've only had the pleasure of meeting one of the others, and so that was Steve. I'm not sure who the other people are, but uh, I don't think I was really as much of a medical miracle as so much as I was an anomaly. Um, doctors had fun with me. Uh, they operated on me quite a bit, apparently. And I was pretty much said, told at a young age that I would never amount to anything, and now I have a job, so I'd love to find that doctor and just show him this tape saying, hey, I'm still alive. It's, I know some people who are almost completely blind, and they don't even look like they're blind at all, and some people just think they're sighted, and they need a lot more help. And For example, I always get a lot of, when I'm at work, I get a lot of people who come over to me, and they're like, oh, why are your, why are your icons so big? Why is your screen so huge? and uh, it can be a bit frustrating at times, especially when I'm dealing with an irate customer and I just want someone to come help me with an issue and then they're asking me these stupid questions that I don't have the time or tolerance really to ask, answer at the time. It's just like, I need help with this right now, we'll deal with that later. So, but, uh, but I mean, I've, I've been working there for three, just over three months now, so I mean, all of the uh, floor leads and the people who come over for help when I need it all know my condition, so it's, and they're all very accepting of it, and uh, I've never had a big problem there at work, and it's just, it's been a godsend because they've been so understanding towards my visual impairment at work. I try not to let my visual impairment get in the way of my goals. It's, it can be hard at times and a bit discouraging here and there, but uh, you know, I, I, I am getting to where I want to be in terms of my career goals. I mean, I've been going to school for a long, for a long, long time now, and now I'm taking a year off to actually get some work experience in my field, field of computers and and tech support and uh, troubleshooting and networking and whatnot. So I'm slowly getting to where I want to be.